So today's video is going to be about how I got into IIT Bombay with a relatively lower gate score. So generally, the cutoff for IIT Bombay is around rank 70 to 80. So how did I get into IIT Bombay with a rank of 350 plus? So firstly, what are the different types of programs offered by IIT Bombay in the computer science department? So mainly there are two types, M.Tech and the M.S. These are two different degrees. So M.Tech degree is a course work heavy degree and M.S. degree is a more of a research kind of research oriented program. And the duration of M.S. is 1.5 to 3 years. It is a flexible duration and M.Tech is again of two types, the two year M.Tech and the three year M.Tech. Now what's the difference between the two year M.Tech and the three year M.Tech program? So the two year M.Tech program, which is popularly called as M.Tech TA, in the M.Tech TA for your stipend, you need to do some teaching duties. The three year M.Tech program, which is also called M.Tech RA, in this, in this program for your stipend, you need to do some project or research related work. So in both these programs, the coursework and the credits for the courses are exactly same. There is no difference of coursework in the two year and the three year program. Now the working hours are different. So for M.Tech RA, as it is a project related work, it is allotted 20 hours per week. And for M.Tech TA, which is a teaching duty work, it, has, uh, it is allotted 8 hours per week. So as the part time project work is allotted more time so as 20 hours per week, the duration of the degree is extended to 3 years instead of 2 years. Now what's the selection process and the admission criteria? So for both these programs, first is you need to have a valid GATE score. So for to apply to M.Tech RA program, you need to have a GATE score of 700 plus. So if you have a GATE score of 700 plus, you can apply and you will be shortlisted for a written test. The written test is actually a coding test, which is a C++ based DSA based coding test. And you also have a choice of projects to choose from. So some common projects are web team, system administration, CS101, and there are now a bunch of different kinds of projects ongoing in the department. Uh, these projects can change year to year. And after clearing the coding test, there will be one interview for each of the project you choose. So you can choose a maximum of two projects only, which is also priority wise. And the final selection depends upon 70% gate score. The 30% weightage is given to your performance in coding test and interview. Now about the coding test, what, what type of test it is? So it is a C++ based DSA based coding test in which you have to solve five questions. And it is similar to a lead code easy, but the difference is you have to write the complete CPP code and then submit the file for evaluation. You will be given a Ubuntu computer. You can run your code locally and then test it and then submit the file for evaluation. The questions were very basic uh, array, matrix, string related questions. The main agenda to conduct this test is to filter out the students which are not comfortable in hands-on programming. You can prepare for this coding test by practicing basic uh, programming in C++ prior writing the full code with input, output and the uh, main logic. Prepare topics like arrays, strings, matrix, matrix multiplications and everything. So I had chosen two projects. The first was web team. So I cleared the coding test. I solved four out of five questions. So how was my interview experience for the web team array? So I already had professional experience in Angular, Node, MySQL and Java also. I had also done Android development. So I told all of these. So the interview asked me what is the difference between TypeScript and JavaScript as Angular uses TypeScript. And also I was asked about RDBMS, which is a relational database management system, which is SQL. So I was asked about SQL joins. Uh, having and group by clauses and how in which order the SQL query runs and one interesting question I was asked if the website doesn't work if the website is unreachable What could be the reasons behind it and how would I troubleshoot? How would I find the reasons that the website is not working? How to check if it's our fault or the server's fault? How to find the actual fault? So this was my web team RA interview experience. The interview lasted for about 15-20 minutes now the second project I applied for was a programming autograder project very similar to lead code and this project is actually in use which is used by IIT Bombay students. This project was conducted by a HOD of computer science department uh, Varshapte ma'am. 
so the interview experience for me was a bit different from all the other candidates the candidates who came straight out of btech who don't have any experience they were asked different kind of questions they were asked basics of operating system the fundamentals of computer science the focus was mainly on operating system basics but for me i had a very different interview experience so what happened is i also applied for another similar project but in ms category so varsha ma'am had already took my interview and was very familiar familiar with me so now ma'am what in my input in improving the existing project so i was asked about back end system design and how should i improve the latency of the system so after some discussions i proposed a solution about uh, using a message queue as kafka in the back end architecture and we had discussions upon it to is it feasible to use kafka or any other solution is possible or not it was more like a sd2 kind of a system design round we were discussing about the actual problems the project is facing and ma'am was expecting me to use my experience and knowledge to s- tackle the question so the whole discussion was around browser latency and finally it was around how to improve the latency of the whole system so that the system becomes robust and each and every student can submit the code and get accurate results so finally with a gate score of 776 plus clearing the coding test plus clearing the interview i was selected for the mtech ra program for the autograder project thank you and uh, subscribe for more content like this